Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is with the record of 30 wins, 19 of those coming by way of knockout against three losses from Mary Hom Finland, introducing the Nordic Nightmare, Robert Hellenius. And now, ladies and gentlemen, with an outstanding record, 42 wins, two losses, one draw, 41 big wins coming by way of knockouts. Fighting out of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, he is the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. This is our main event on Saturday night on Fox Sports PBC Pay-Per-View. Deontay Wilder, Robert Hellenius from Barclay Center here in Brooklyn. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You can take your seat. Uh, Deontay, it's very interesting because you have animosity with these two guys, but you and Robert Hellenius are, are certainly gentlemen, and you guys have mutual respect between each other, him being your former sparring partner. Uh, when you decided to come back, and there was a list of names that you could have chosen for your comeback, why did you decide to settle on the Nordic Nightmare, Robert Hellenius, who is no easy task for any heavyweight in the world? You know, uh, first off, I got, I got tremendous love and respect for Robert. Uh, we've been knowing each other for years, and we've been in camp. He always came to my camp to help. You know, they say iron shop and iron, and um, we definitely been doing that. And, you know, uh, the reason I agreed upon this fight, because he, he's been on a winning streak. He's been looking great in his fight. And, um, you know, this is for the WBC eliminator. So, you know, uh, if I'm going to be in it and come back in it, why not fight the best and why not, you know, fight for something worth fighting for, you know. Uh, I don't have long. I only want three years left up in this business and, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fight the best and, uh, and, and I'm willing, able and ready to do whatever I got to do, you know, to, to make it back to the top. Well, it's great to see you, champ, as always. And now with the Nordic Nightmare, Robert Hellenius. Robert, you have been fighting, involved in boxing for over 25 years. You've always stated your goal is to challenge for the heavyweight championship of the world. You are literally potentially one step away, but in order for you to get to that path, you have to get past this man, the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder. How important is this fight for you on Saturday? Well, uh, I've been uh, throwing my life to this sport, so uh, of course this means everything for me. And uh, I've been doing all the work I can do to to bring my best self off in this fight. And, uh, you know, I'm ready. Deontay, this has been the home to many memorable events for you. Four fights, four victories, four knockouts. You look at the names of Arthur Spuka, Berman Stavern, Luis Ortiz, and Dominic Brazil most recently in May of 2019. What makes Barclays Center so special for the Bronze Bomber? I think it's the electrifying energy that, that the, this arena possess. You know, I done had some of my most dramatic knockouts, most exciting knockouts, and uh, enjoyable moments right here in this, uh, this arena. So, you know, when I came here and got off the plane, it just, the energy here just felt amazing. And I asked my team, do y'all feel the same thing that I feel? And they uh, agree with me, they felt the same thing. So it almost feel like a second home to me. You know, I'm always here um, and I put on my best performance here, right here. So, you know, with that being said, um, I'm not looking for nothing less than a great performance come Saturday night. So uh, the fans is in, in, in for a treat. You know, it's a lot on the line. You know, and um, I, I think I got the right opponent to, uh, for us to get a, the fans what they want to see, you know. One thing that resembles me and Robert, he got a, he got a warrior heart, a warrior mentality. And everyone knows I have a warrior heart and mentality as well. So when you're fighting with your heart, you're willing to go out on your shield. And um, that's what's going to be tomorrow. We're going to go out on our shield, baby.
Is that why you had such an extensive training camp? I mean, your pre-camp, I thought, was rather remarkable. You put in hundreds of rounds in your pre-camp, even before diving into training camp. Is it because you know that you have a dangerous and formidable opponent in front of you on Saturday? Most definitely. You can't, you can't, um, not, you can't look past um, Robert Hellenius. You know, like I said, when any fighter fight with their heart, you can't look past them, you know. And, and you know, I put in, we put in like 100, uh, 600 and, and something rounds in. I think it was 620, you know. How much was it? Well, I'm downgraded. 725, <laughs> so says Don House, a part of the Deontay Wilder I'm downgraded. Camp. House been keeping up with everything. And um, it's been a, a tremendous camp, you know, pre-camp been tremendous. And, um, and uh, going into official camp has been a, just as great as well. You know, we, we, uh, we had to slow down a little bit because I was overtrained. And, um, and, and it's been amazing, though, because you can go so many years doing the same thing over and over again, and then it becomes boring. It becomes just something that you, you, you got to do and get through. Um, so we changed up a lot of things. We changed up location. I was out in Vegas for a long time, and then I did my sparring back back in Alabama, and um, it 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 refreshing a lot of things. And um, we been, went back to the basic of a lot of things. And uh, this whole title for me, you know, this second phase in my career is all about having fun. You know, what I mean, all about having fun. I always tell people I'm I'm happy and I'm at peace in my life and where I stand. You know, where I am, the grass is green. You know what I mean? And, it, and, and can't nobody knock me off of that. So I'm looking forward to Saturday night. Although we are sparring partners and we respect each other highly, understand that, uh, you know, it will be, the beast will come out come Saturday night. You know, people ain't got to worry about whether well, they friends or, well, you know, he said he love them and all that, you know. Uh, it's going to be fire come Saturday night. That's for sure. Robert, what have you done in preparation? You both have had, you know, lengthy time together in sparring, but it's obvious that this man has destructive power, a knockout percentage of over 91%. And you got to respect that as well, of course. Uh, we've been doing a lot of footwork, a lot of jabs, a lot of sparring as well, So, and we've been at it the whole year, so... Uh, we didn't know the opponent in the beginning of the year, but we've been training all year. So, you know, uh, sitting here, I, I don't know what to, what to tell you guys anymore. I've been <laughs> in so many press conferences, and, and uh, but uh, we've been doing a lot of a lot of good work, and and I, I feel like this is my time now, and uh, the fight is going to be really really good. For you, what is it like to be back here at Barclays Center? Because not only has Deontay Wilder had success here, but you have as well. You went ahead in March of 2020, right before the pandemic. You know, you were a heavy underdog coming into your fight against, at the previous time, the undefeated Adam Kovnatsky. And you came out, you shocked the world, and you smashed him. So what's it like for you to be returning to one of the best nights of your career? Yeah, uh, I've been fighting once at Barclays Center, and uh, the atmosphere was crazy good, like uh, Wilder said and i uh, i feel like the same thing is happening all over again deontay you mentioned in the theme to this fight uh, since you decided to come back that you're fighting for yourself what does that mean and how dangerous does that make the bronze bomber well ray i gotta correct you i'm, I'm you know coming back in the second phase i'm i'm I, i'm a true people's champion you know? I'm fighting for the people. I had to be, I was selfish, just fighting for my family and bringing them up, you know, bringing them out of poverty, being able to, uh, uh, to, to establish a lifestyle that we're, we're, we love to do. And, and when I want to do something and go places, I'm able to do so at any given time at will, you know. But, but being um, um, the unveiling of the statue for me meant a lot to me, to see so many people come from so many different countries out to uh, join hand with us, to uh, unite with me and my family and my loved ones. It meant a lot to me, you know, to, uh, uh, man, you know, just to think about the past. You know, they, they say when you think about the past, uh, certain emotions come out of you. And to think about that moment in time in history for me, uh, man, it's, it's an amazing feeling. So it just allowed me to understand that I'm, I'm, 
I mean so much to so many people around the world. You know, people gravitate to the things I do, to the things I say, and they apply it to life. Like I said, you know, the only way you obtain knowledge is applying it to life, and that's how you become wise. And to see that, to see so many people share tears and break down families and stuff like that, it allowed me to know, man, I, I got to keep going. You know, I'm, I, I, I'm still young. I got uh, three more years. I want to do it to, to about the end of 40, and, and that's it. So I want to provide my, my, my service to my greatness for the next three years, and then I'm out of here. So this is for the people. You know what I mean? This is for, it's for the people to have fun and do what I got to do, baby. So the bronze by my back, so so, li- so so long lived the heavyweight division. Well, you and mentioned, the excitement that's in it. You mentioned three years because you said you want to fight till 40. So before I get over to Anthony Durrell, I want to wish you an early happy birthday. I know your birthday will be next Saturday, October 22nd. So happy early birthday. Now Deontay I got two Wilder. more years. Thank you. Okay, two more years. <laughs> Deontay, this is your second straight fight with Malik Scott as your head trainer. I feel like you guys are just getting to another level when it comes to your continuity, the relationship, the time in the gym. I was seeing, I I mentioned during the media workouts that you were moving like a middleweight for that matter during the workouts. But tell us about you and the bond that you have with Malik Scott, your lead trainer. Uh, Man, that's, that's... That's uh, he a part of. He got a part. He he got he got a part. Uh, that's my guy, man. You know what I'm saying. He 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 definitely holds a part in my heart. You know what I mean. We've been together for a very long time, and when we first met, man, we clicked. We we clicked instantly. You know, I uh, cooked for his family. He dropped a lot of gems on me dealing with the boxing. You know, he's been in it longer than I. You know, his mother's the same birthday as I. Mine's is his. So it's a. Uh, it's a great family that I have, you know what I mean? Um, I have a lot of day ones uh, on my side with me, along with uh, my co- uh, conditioning uh, coach, Joey Scott, right here. He's definitely day one, you know, day one from day one, you know what I mean? So uh, it's, it feels good to be able to have so many great guys a part of my life, you know what I mean? Whether it's dealing with boxing or de- dealing with just life itself. So, uh, you know, I'm looking to, to uh, end my career on a, a happy note with my guys right beside me. Robert, for you, you're a heavy underdog coming into this fight, more than a four to one underdog. Am I? Am I? Yes, you are. Okay. So right now, the odds makers have you as a four and a half to one underdog. Uh, clearly, you're not paying attention to that, but you were an underdog coming into your fight against Adam Kovnatsky the first time back in March of 2020. Yeah. Uh, do you like having that role of people picking against you? Yeah, I think so. I think it gives me more strength, more power. What have you learned over the course of your career? Because if people don't know him, Robert Hellenius has been an elite heavyweight, especially in Europe, for well over a decade. Do you feel now, Robert, that the time is here for you to capitalize and make your movement to try to become the first world champion from Finland? Yeah, uh, I wouldn't be here if I wouldn't believe in myself. So I think I would have find, found a easier job to do if I wouldn't believe in myself. Now, Deontay, I know that you don't want to look past Robert Hellenius, but there have been reports that Alexander Usyk, the heavyweight champion of the world, is going to be here at Barclays Center to watch your fight and that potentially, if you're victorious, that he would like to fight you next. What are your thoughts? Uh, My thoughts is, uh, you know, many people have said many things, you know, to me about fighting me and uh, when the time came, they went the other way. Um, So uh, I reached out and uh, some of my guys that's close to me that knows him, I asked them about his character um, as a person. Because sometimes your character, your character will tell who you are. And um, I asked them, is he a man of his word, you know, on certain things. And they 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 confirmed to me that he were. And um, so I can only hold him for his word, you know. So... uh, so we'll see what happens. So hopefully he'll manage his word, and, um, and upon being victorious, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? And this is the great thing about being a heavyweight uh, in, a, in a small division, that you're always one fight away from a, from a title shot. And uh, we'll see what happens, you know, and uh, I can't wait. Robert Olenius, your prediction for your showdown against the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. I mean, standing like this. Hand raised. Yes. All right, Deontay, the floor is yours. 
The former heavyweight champion of the world returns to the ring for the first time in over a year. It will be 372 days exact. But Deontay, your prediction for your matchup against Robert Hellenius on Saturday. Um, I just appreciate everybody coming out. This is going to be a, a, a great fight come Saturday night. You don't want to miss it. You know, I, I bring the excitement to the heavyweight division. And I'm back, baby. And on that night, it's going to be a, 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 an explosion. You know, you got two fighters that are putting their hearts on the line, that are putting their lives on the line. And we don't want to exit that ring uh, 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 unless we become victorious. That, that's mean if we had to go out on our shield. And you know what I mean by that. So I'm back, baby. And, uh, you know, when I'm in the arena or when I'm in a fight, you know, I keep people on the edge of their seat. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen. But when it happened, baby, bam, good night. I see you guys soon. Love, peace, and God bless. And you know always. Boom squad! Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.